Hi guys, welcome to another video from Tricky Ricky. Um, this video is the final chapter in the saga with Canyon and you'll see right there in the background I have my bike back. Before we get into that, quick apology, this has been about five weeks since my last video. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, two of those weeks were actually testing this bike so I did get it back a couple of weeks ago. Um, but let's get into it after this intro. Okay, so what happened? How did we get there? What's my opinion of how handle uh, how Canyon handled this uh, this whole process? So first things first, you'll remember in one of my last videos, I actually said Canyon had ordered me a new bike, a replacement bike. What actually happened was I was contacted by Canyon and they confirmed that they'd actually received the replacement rocker pins before they'd received the replacement bike. They gave me the option of waiting for the new bike or having this bike back for testing. Um, I actually chose to take this bike back uh, rather than wait for the new bike, purely because we don't know if the new bike's gonna come with the same issues and obviously the, the issues had been identified on this bike. So they returned this to me. I've had it for about two weeks, a little over two weeks. Uh, I've been testing it, make sure all of the issues are ironed out and I can confirm the rear suspension linkage issue is sorted and the double distance Shimano uh, issue, software issue is, is sorted. Um, how we got there and what was the actual resolution? Let's have a close look and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are, let's have a closer look. Right, first things first, the rear suspension linkage. So the issue was with these rocker pins right here, which effectively go through and they drive this, this horseshoe yoke. Uh, and effectively the two pins kind of drive the yoke forward. And the issue was these two machines, pins were machined too small. So they were rattling around in the, in the needle bearings. And that's where the movement and the noise was coming from here. So what Canyon have done, I believe is they've identified this as a batch fault. Uh, and the new pins have resolved that issue. Uh, Canyon did replace this swing arm for me because I'd actually chipped the paint on here as well. So they've kindly replaced that for me. They've also replaced and renewed all of the rocker pins. You can see there's actually some tightening marks on there, but there's, there's no stripping of the, the Allen key. Uh, bolts at all. So that issue is all sorted. There's no rattling, no movement, no noise whatsoever. It feels nice and solid. The other issue was the Shimano drive system throwing up double distance. So you'd ride five kilometers, it would show that you'd ridden 10 kilometers. Whilst not the end of the world in terms of how the bike's performing, uh, if you do a lot of distance on that, you're se seriously impacting on resale value of the bike. Uh, so I was adamant with Canyon that I wouldn't accept the bike back until that had been resolved. That actually took quite a lot of work between Canyon and uh, Shimano to fix. So you can see the, the speed sensor on here, the magnet is actually placed just in the, uh, this arrangement that fits to the center lock rotors. So the sensor is actually following this cable up here and it's kind of placed in a recess on the inside of this um, this seat stay here. Um, now, the issue was the position of the sensor was actually reading the magnet passing the sensor twice. And the solution that Canyon have come up with in conjunction with Shimano would be was to actually raise the sensor out of the recess that's built into this frame using a dedicated spacing washer that Canyon will provide you free of charge if you have this issue. And then rotating the sensor, kind of, it's kind of initially like that, and they ro rotate the sensor like that. So you've got a different angle and a different position for this sensor. And the outcome of that is it's only reading the magnet passing once instead of twice. So not ideal, actually changes nothing on this aesthetic of the bike. It's exactly as it was before, so it doesn't, doesn't harm anything. So both issues are completely sorted. Now, how did Canyon handle this? So I took delivery of the bike in June. I took re-delivery of the bike from Canyon UK at the end of September, beginning of, beginning of October. That is a long time to be without a bike. So Canyon UK, I actually feel a little bit sorry for because this is a new range of bikes they weren't familiar with. They did stay, keep in contact with me fairly regularly. Uh, the Luke, 
there, the guy that was my contact, was very apologetic. He totally understood it wasn't acceptable. So I can't really fault Canyon UK that much. Um, I think they did what they could in a fairly tricky situation. I think the main issue with me is Canyon Germany releasing the bikes with faults, with many, many faults. Uh, not just my bike, there are, there's catalogues online of people who are having issues with the new Neuron and Spectral on. Now, I suppose with a new bike, new build, you're going to get teething problems. And I actually believe that those issues have now been sort, sorted. So it's almost like, I think myself and people who are getting bikes around the same time, we're getting beta versions of the bike. I do actually think now that the final versions of the bike are shipping. Um, so hopefully if you have ordered one of these bikes, I think you can be confident that you're getting a very good bike. It does ride brilliantly. I can't fault how the bike rides whatsoever. However, and I'm going to save this for another video, but I'm just going to touch upon this now. The amount of time I was waiting for this bike, I just got fed up. So I went out and splashed out on that, which is a Focus Jam Squared. So... What I've actually been doing for the last couple of weeks is testing these bikes back to back, side by side. And what I'm going to do is keep the one I prefer, sell the one I like the least, if you like. And my findings are, and I'll cover this in more detail in another video, is I'm going to keep the Focus. I'm going to sell the Canyon. Bit of a surprise, especially if you, uh, <laughs> you know the kind of hassle that I've gone through with this bike. But I just feel... The Focus is just a stronger bike. The Bosch uh, Gen 4 CX motor is better. Again, I'm going to cover this in more detail in, in another video. But there we go, guys. A snapshot. The resolution. I finally have my bike back. All the issues have been fixed. It, don't get me wrong. It's still a cracking looking bike. It still rides really, really well. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to keep this bike now if I hadn't already splashed out on that. Um, but there you go. Hopefully, if you've got a bike on order and it's due imminently, or if you've taken delivery of your bike, you don't have these issues. If you do have these issues, please be confident that they are now easily sortable. The double distance issue, you can sort yourself very, very easily. Will not cost you anything. Canyon will ship you the spacer washer. There is a PDF document with detailed instructions on how to fix that and how to position the sensor. It's not a problem whatsoever. I could do it easily. Again, if you have the rattling on the rear linkage, now we know it's just uh, the rocker pin that's at fault canyon will ship you rocker pins and you can do it yourself it's a dead easy job literally you just need a set of allen keys it's that it's that easy so none of these issues that i've faced are critical issues they're all easily user fixed issues uh, so don't feel like if you've got these issues you're gonna have to send your bike back and you're gonna be waiting months you might be waiting a while for the replacement parts to arrive but you can ride your bike and you can fix these things yourself really, really easily. So there you have it guys. Final resolution update to the Canyon Saga. I hope this has been useful for you. I hope if you are, uh, you've had this, one of these bikes or you're expecting delivery of one of these bikes, this is gonna fill you with confidence. It is a good bike, don't get me wrong. It's a really, really good bike. I still do like the Canyon brand. I think they maybe kind of pushed the boat out a little bit and rushed these bikes to market without fully testing them, but you know it's a competitive market you can't blame them for wanting to get the bikes out there okay if you like this video you've liked this series please hit that like button uh, if you want please subscribe very 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 much appreciated and if you want updates on future content which will be a little bit more frequently now i promise then hit that bell for notifications i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you very much for following this uh, i wish you all the best with your purchases and i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys